So now we continue uh, our lesson for the first subtopic in under 2.2 which is derivative of vector function. If you can see here, this one is a derivative of first principle. First principle. Of course, we, we will not use this one. We just use the direct technique of differentiation. You have to recall a lot of the all the techniques, all the skills on differentiating of any function. Okay, uh, look at the theorem. Theorem 2.2.1. If r of t equals to uh, in angle bracket f t comma g t and h t where f g and h are differentiable function then r prime of t equals to f prime t g prime t and h prime t you can see that actually you have to differentiate the component by component without uh, combine uh, all the component together all right Okay, before we start, uh, direct uh, derivative of a vector, vector function, maybe we have to recall some information about differentiation. I show you the basic table of differentiation. You can see here that uh, the first one. All right, this is the, the most... Uh, common things in differenti differentiation when k multiply with the function any function f of x then you can uh, put the k outside and you can focus to differentiate the function itself okay then we done this one just to recall right and then the second one obviously when you differentiating k k is any constant which is not a function with not uh, involving any variable so the answer will be zero okay this one I, I just skip this one skip because we want to focus on this one okay when we play with the polynomial let's say x power n n can be any number uh, can be round number can be can be fraction number or anything uh, the the differentiating x power n can be equals to n x power n minus 1. Okay, for example, let's say we want to differentiate x power 3. Okay, you can bring 3 in front and then time x power 3 minus 1 which is 2. This is the answer. Alright, okay, we're done with this one and then ln x this is a special function ln x differentiating ln x equals to 1 divided by x okay so now we continue with this one because it should be vertical first okay so this one this is the expansion of the ln just now okay let's say we have a function any function not always a specific x can be polynomial can be exponential inside the ln can be anything so uh, the answer will be f prime x f prime x divided by fx actually this one you can use substitution all right and then um next one exponential when we want to differentiate exponent mx uh this will become like this m can be n m actually is a constant okay for for example when we want to differentiate uh, exponent 2x, the answer will be 2 exponent 2x. See here, the 2 will be remain. Anything inside the exponential will be remain. Okay, we're done with this one. Okay, so now we go to the extension of that. Let's say exponent fx. As fx can be anything. Uh, so we will have this one. Uh, similar like the ln fx, we can use substitution, but then uh, we also can use direct differentiation. Okay, let's say the dx um, exponent uh, x squared. So you will have, okay, your fx now is x squared. So then the f prime x will be 2x 
exponent x squared okay i'm sorry maybe this one is quite large uh, x is superscript eh? okay then okay now we go to the sine mx sine mx equals to uh you have to uh really careful differentiating sign will be positive cos and then what you have to do just bring the coefficient for the x here to the front sine mx equals to m cos mx where m equals to constant then and then extension uh similar like the ln and the exponent i believe that you can do this one okay and then we go to up here and then the extension of the cost eh, sorry sorry not this one differentiating the cost okay differentiating cost will be negative negative sign and then we have negative m sine mx be careful with the sign okay then uh, extension of that we have negative f prime x sine fx 